And welcome everybody to Music City Model Works. Hope everyone's having a great first of the week. Um, catch you up on what we've got done so far on the school bus. That'll be the first update. Um, got both the motors done except for uh, the valve covers and the headers. Um, on this kit, the headers go inside these notches in the um, in the heads and they lay in these notches the pipes lay in these notches and then the valve covers go in they don't want you to do that uh, in the instructions until the motors are set into the frame and uh, the <coughs> excuse me uh, this sits on top of the frame and then the motors mount here in here and I'm going to turn it this way there we go the motors sit on these mounting uh, tabs and then you put the headers and the valve covers uh, on top so uh, which means that I have the dubious pleasure of getting to uh, wire these motors which I'm going to wire them uh, while they are mounted in the frame I've done that a time or two and it, those of you who have who have wired motors uh, if you've ever had to do that uh, one time I did it just because I forgot to wire the motor up and believe it or not I stuck it in there and that was back in my uh, days of heavily consuming adult beverage and forgot to put the back <laughs> forgot to put the uh, uh, the wires in and uh, went ahead and mounted the motor in the engine compartment and all of a sudden it dawned on me that uh, hey guess what there are no wires in it so I got to fight with uh, with it in the frame but get to do that here just because that's the way it needs to be done uh, the paint on the motor uh, the two motors are these are are, are uh, supposed to be Hemi engines uh, the orange mixture is mandarin orange and bright red um, the transmission, the two transmissions, this is actually a half transmission. Uh, the way this mounts in the uh, in the frame is the back pulley or the uh, the pulley on the back motor uh, has a little tab pin that sticks out the front and it mounts into a hole in the back of the transmission uh, of the front one. So that's how that drives. Uh, when it's mounted so uh, the transmissions have been painted with metallic silver and a, a little sterling silver uh, craft acrylic uh, after that dried I went over it with uh, some create effects uh, gray wash just to kind of uh, give it a little bit more of a, of a, of a steel color and not so much aluminum uh, on the blower assemblies I also took the same gray stain and went over it just a little bit I decided to leave the blowers and the valve covers chrome uh, I did because it is a Tom Daniel kit but I wanted this I kind of wanted this to be you know when you think of a Tom Daniel kit you think of uh, more like a kind of a I hate to say a circus model but a, you know kind of like a just a just a fun kids type model and I, I just kind of wanted to make this one because this is kind of more of an intimidating type uh, piece of machinery it's not like the uh, you know the paddy wagon or you know one of those other things that's got the you know the, uh, the funny little characters on the you know on the box art or whatever this one you know is, is kind of all business and uh, that's why I kind of went with the colder steel colors on the uh, on the frame so uh, but anyway I did do the blowers with the gray wash to kind of knock off some of the uh, the gloss of the chrome uh, and then uh, just metallic silver and flat black or actually uh, black craft acrylic uh, gone over with some uh, uh, the uh, testers dull coat liquid dull coat uh, the frame is painted with uh, two two colors of metallic silver uh, a little sterling silver uh, white and platinum uh, and a little hippo gray to give it a little bit more of a darker look uh, I don't know if you can tell, but most of the same mixture that went into the transmission is on here, and the hippo gray kind of 
took it to another uh, shade, so you can kind of see the difference. Uh, I, I really like the way the two shades came out. It's a little bit different, but similar in one way. There's like three different shades of grays and silvers going on in the in the chassis itself. So on the chassis and in the uh, uh, the roll cage is another shade. Uh, I took some of the white out of, of the mixture for the roll cage. Uh, picked out the pads on the roll cage. Um, not much detail in the driver's compartment. Uh, you can see that uh, I just picked out the buckles on the seat belt. Uh, kind of out of scale, kind of an out of scale steering wheel. I, I got to looking at it yesterday and I thought, my gosh, man, that, that thing's as big as almost the rim on the, the rims on the back tires of the slicks. So, uh, you know, the guy that drives this has to have hands like, you know, a baseball mitt. So, uh, but the gas tank and the water tank uh, are, uh, have been dull coated. They were chrome. Everything else will pretty much be dull coated. The wheelie bars will be dull coated. Uh, the um, uh, suspension parts will be dull coated. Uh, the only chrome I'm going to leave on this one is the uh, the blower assemblies and the uh, valve covers. Uh, so that's that's pretty much where we're at with the frame and the motors. Uh, I wanted to show you if you saw my first video um, of where I did the plastic weld uh, to keep the uh, <clears throat> keep the hood from getting knocked off, the hood assembly, the cowl, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I've cleaned it up since that video uh, trimmed up the excess uh, I had a uh, used for such strips of for sale sign uh, in here to uh, to form a weld between the hood and the uh, and the body of the bus went over it with um, the testers liquid cement until it became soft and pliable almost like a, basically a goo and uh, put the bus body uh, put the bus hood together pushed it up against it till it pushed out and then uh, let it sit you know overnight and it's been sitting for you know week 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 and a half or whatever and trimmed it up yesterday uh, still had a little seam inside here or up here but up, right up under the, the window so I took uh, some uh, white out liquid paper and took the applicator and just dabbed all along there and let it go down into the seam kind of fill that in just a little bit and then uh, kind of got a little cleaning up to do around here and around here and uh, uh, pretty pleased with the way it went. I've been doing some heavy duty pushing down with sanding sticks and, and paper and it's like I said in the first video man you can twist the whole body so you know if, if I can do that with an eye you know I feel like that was a, uh, a pretty good success so uh, Tomorrow I'll probably go ahead and uh, get the uh, top part of the frame on the bottom, uh, on the bottom part of the frame, uh, get the motors installed, uh, and be ready for paint hopefully by the end of the week. I'm not going to rush this. I've got, uh, you know, I'm not on a time schedule with this one, so I've got all the time in the world. And I got some, some goodies in the mail today I wanted to show you. Uh, which I may or may not use on this bus. I uh, ordered some, uh, I had been looking at these for quite some time on the testers website. I won't bring them all up. Uh, they, uh, they are testers Aztec brand paints. They are air, air brushable paints that are uh, ready to go out of the bottle. Uh, they've already been thinned. I've already, uh, played around with them just a little bit today uh, I got the uh, I got the uh, pearl silver uh, this is the transparent I believe this is yeah this is the transparent uh, blue uh, transparent transparent green uh, transparent cherry red pearl red pearl purple uh, pearl green pearl copper and pearl blue um, just to see how the pearls did they did real well I got one well this is actually uh, two paints uh, this is the this is the uh, pearl silver as a base coat with the transparent blue on top uh, and I was pretty pleased with the way it came out uh, I didn't 
I didn't spend a lot of time on it. I just kind of, you know, loaded it up in my in my uh, jar and put my brush on it and shot it right quick. Uh, the pearl silver laid down real nicely. The blue, I was really pleased with it. I was, uh, transparents don't always look, you know, real well uh, on top of other things, but especially when they're thin, already thin, and I, and I wasn't the one to thin them, so I was kind of leery about how thin they were going to be, but uh, the label says to shoot them at between 20 and 30 pounds, and I generally try to shoot about 24, 22, 24 pounds, so actually came out pretty good. I was pretty impressed with it. I'm going to probably uh, go back and uh, probably order some of the opaque uh, colors, uh, just the solid blues and black, uh, you know, gray, green, blue, just the, the opaque colors. Uh, I like the pearls, but, you know, the 60s and 70s uh, factory stock cars, which I tried to, you know, I like to build a lot of, you know, they didn't have pearls that came out of the factory, so uh, back in the late 60s and early 70s, so unless it was a custom deal, so uh, uh, that's pretty much where we're at with the, the bus, the school bus. I've still got, uh, I'm waiting on some other things in the mail to try to make this a little bit different than just, like I said, it's not going to be a, a regular school bus. Uh, it's going to be, uh, it's not going to be a wild custom job, you know, with all kind of strange things in it, but uh, it's going to be a little bit different than what's on the box art definitely for sure and uh, uh, just a just a nice you know kid to have a lot of fun with right here at uh, the holiday time so uh, I think I'll call this one finished uh, give you another update maybe in the next couple of days or so uh, until I talk to you again uh, take care of one another may God bless you and your family and talk to you later <music>